The, the electricity bill is $300? What, what the hell is this wiring? My 300k marijuana! Trouble Busters! My name is Theo. I'm struggling with my scary and aggressive neighbor, Sean. Look, man, look! You a loser, unlike me who has a car! But this is literally my own parking space, so... I'm eventually going to be buying a car! Shut up! Then you can start talking when you get a damn car! Uh... <laughs> Besides, you're only able to ride a damn bicycle, you poor broke prick! You don't need parking space either way! <laughs> D damn! He just says whatever he wants to say when he wants to say it. But I mean, he's not wrong. I don't need a parking space. More than anything, he's pretty scary looking, so... I don't want to step up on him any more than I already have. Oh, whatever. This sucks, but... What?! $300 for my electricity?! What? what the hell?! No matter how you look at it, I should only have a bill around $70 tops! I immediately called the electricity company, and they said that they were charging based on the amount that was shown on the meters. So it was impossible that there was a mistake. My life was completely thrown off, and I had to take out the $240 for my food expenses. Ugh, I... I'm so hungry. Something is so insane. It's impossible for the freaking bill to be $300 last month. Actually, throughout this whole year, the average is like 40 to $60. What's going on? Uh, I'm so starving. Uh, I ended up being so confused and terrified that I had to endure this life of starvation so that I could make ends meet. A month of starving and being terrified of my next electricity bill. W w why the, the electricity bill is still $300! Why won't the bill change? What was the point of all my efforts? For this past month, I conserved as much electricity as I possibly could. After work, I spent my time on a park bench instead of going home, and on my days off, I stayed in the library for as long as possible. Then Andrew got pissed off at me, but I still stayed in his office to stay cool. I was working really hard to make sure I didn't use any electricity, but how? W why won't my bill change? I don't want to do this! I can't do this for another month! I don't want to do anything more than I already am! Why do I have to go through this? I was seriously concerned for my life, so I called the electricity company and put up a real argument. I had them send someone out to investigate, and... what? what is this cable? Ah, uh, I knew it! You've been got! Damn it! I did not expect that it would be some kind of neighbor problem type thing. So, um, I'm going to go, but sometimes there are people that try to say things about how it's totally justified or whatever, but if you just tell them what I just told you, you'll be able to put them in their place. Thank you. Thank you so much. What an insane neighbor, huh? Wh what is this? I can't pull it out. What the hell? Afterwards, I tried to pull out the cord, but I couldn't seem to pull it out at all. I fought for over 30 minutes to get the plug out, but I couldn't get it out. I ended up going to my electricity thieving neighbor, Sean's house. He's scary, sure, but this is my life. Literally my life. What? You got something you want to say? I'm not going to back down from this. Yeah, I do have something I need to say, you electricity thieving prick. Yes, you already figured it out, huh? Annoying. You need to pay me for the electricity bill last month. Also, I want you to pull out the damn plug right now. And you apologize right now for the suffering that you put me through for the last month. Nope. I can't pull out the plug because I only used a special plastic glue to make sure that it can't come out. Huh? Plastic glue? Yeah. You're really not going to be able to get the plug out now. <laughs> I'm like the Robin Hood of electricity. What the hell part of that is justice? You're such a moron! You didn't think that the exterior outlet might get damaged in the process of cementing it shut? Oh, that just means that your outlet actually sucked! <laughs> it's not broken right now anyway, right? What's the problem anyway? The problem is that you're plugged into my wall! Pull the damn cord out, now! And pay for my electricity bill! <laughs> You better listen up. You don't even know that what you're doing is literally a crime. Huh? 
My! <laughs> Electricity isn't something that you can physically touch. It's not a thing. Are you sure you call that theft? He said the thing! I can't believe it! That electrician from the utility company was spot on when he called it! I took the kind, pink-haired guy's suggestion to halt, and decided to put myself in position to counter his argument. I'm going to put my back into this one too! I'm never going to forgive him! Trouble Buster! You plugged into my wall and stole my electricity. Then, you made me pay for the bill. That's theft! What? Something is weird! <laughs> Theft is described as taking an object or other substantial thing. So what? Let me teach you something, my ignorant child. <laughs> Electricity is just electrons and vibrating subatomic particles, which means it's not a thing that you can just carry around. <laughs> which means that it doesn't fit the description of theft. Is the mistake that many people make. Huh? Apparently, you're the ignorant child. I explained that electricity is a very real thing, because if you touch a live wire, you're literally electrocuted. Then I explained how you could check the existence of electricity using a voltometer. So it's definitely something that you can observe and see moving, which means that it is definitely something you can justifiably be the subject of theft. Th then what's going to happen to me? Simple. You're going to be prosecuted as a thief. Electricity theft is treated the same as regular theft, so you're looking at up to 10 years of prison time or $5,000 of punitive fines. Th that sounds rough. Yeah. If you don't want that, then you need to- <laughs> Don't you make any misunderstanding, though! Huh? I'm saying that you're going to have a rough time! Why am I going to be the one having a rough time? You're the criminal here! That's only if you sue me, right? You think that I'm someone that wouldn't be willing to sue you? You lack the kindness to just let it go, along with money and time, huh? What are you trying to say? I'm saying that suing takes court time. Court time takes plenty of money and time. What? Do you have time to go to court? Do you have money? Are you going to be able to hire a lawyer? You realize that if I counter sue, then you're looking at an easy several tens of thousands dollars down the drain in the blink of an eye. If I have to do that, then you're also going to. Yeah, I'm going to miss out on some money, but honestly, I've got way more money than you, and I'm a business owner, so I have more time to myself. I might feel a scratch, but you're literally going to be amputating yourself. Even if you win, you're not going to get anything out of it. Th this little... He knows exactly what it hits. He's not wrong. A court case was just something to scare him into listening. There was no benefit in my doing. Going to court and hiring a lawyer is way too much of an expense over a $600 electricity bill. You really think that I chose you as the target for no reason? I made sure that I had a backup plan, and a backup plan to that backup plan! Ugh. You and I are just completely different up here. You know, I mean, if you wanna hemorrhage money, then I'll put up the fight, sure. <laughs> Get out logic, bro! Thanks for continuing to share your valuable electricity! Wh hey! The crazy guy next door completely outplayed me, and the only thing I can do was to go back to the outlet and try my best to continue pulling the plug out. Damn it, that prick! <sighs> I can't anymore. What the hell? <sighs> I'm gonna have to live that horrible life again? Why the hell do I have to pay for my neighbor's electricity bill? Uh, this is insane. Mr. Theo, today is collection day, buddy. Adam Michael! What, what the hell? If you want us to wait, we're not going to. <laughs> I told them about everything that had happened to me up until that point. So yeah, I just destined to continue getting milk for electricity. <laughs> this, must, this must be something that I did in my past life. <laughs> so I just have to keep paying. What? Something you did in your past life? Yes. J Jesus, bro. What are you, a monk? Huh? You're so stupid. You're an idiot, Theo. Do you seriously forget how to fight back like this when you get cornered? What? What are you talking about? Just do this, man. Oh. 
There, problem solved. He wasn't wrong. That was exactly right. My opponent was a horrible person. I couldn't explain things to him with my logic and law. The best thing I can do to someone like him is to just stoop to his level. Now I can really make him hurt for what he's done. Just you watch, Sean. <laughs> my $300,000 arowana. The lights were off from the second I woke up. That means that the only explanation is that he cut the line. I've got to sue him for this. No, first, I need to fix the arowana fish tank. <laughs> I, I can't pull it out. It's too hard. Damn it! I'm not going to forgive you, prick! Theo! Open up! What? You! Why? You cut the line, didn't you? <laughs> you got a little too worked up and couldn't English correctly, huh? Thanks to you, my pet arowana is basically dead! Huh? You were seriously stealing electricity from my house because you wanted to run the power to your pets? Yes! I used your electricity so that I could sell the arowana and make a huge profit! Don't try to use someone else's electricity for something. That's important! What the hell were you thinking? I'm only thinking about my bottom line! The one painful expense that I couldn't avoid was paying for the electricity! That's why I plan to steal the electricity from your house! Now my $3,000 arowana is basically dead! I can't sell it for anything! The hell do I care? All I did was flip the breaker in my own house. I mean, otherwise, I was going to be spending like $300 a month. So what other choice do I have? Well then, why the hell did you come up with it then? Because I was so shocked at how you were acting, so I couldn't even think about it. But even then, you... If you figured it out, you should have told me. Come on, been a homie. Why would I walk all the way to the guy who's literally stealing my electricity to tell him that I'm going to cut his electricity off? If you had just told me, oh, okay, if you want to be that way, then I'm going to cut the line or something like that, then I would have stopped stealing the electricity from you. Huh? Why are you acting like you're right in any of this? You're a criminal. What the hell? What is wrong with you? I feel like a victim! Well, you can feel however you like, but the fact remains that you're absolutely the criminal in all of this. I want to be compensated! I'm going to sue you! You ruined my favorite client, Arowana! Not only that, you also completely ruined the other expensive fish too! This is like finding out that Lance Armstrong was doping! You should just be glad they didn't all die! They're all alive, so you better make sure you take care of them till the very end. It's your responsibility. The reason is because you cut the power. That means that you need to take the responsibility. You stole my electricity, moron. If you didn't steal my power, then this wouldn't be a problem. You freaking thief! I'm screwed. I'm done for. I'm seriously screwed. Yeah, you really are screwed. You're screwed up. If you finally understand how bad things are, then you should go to the buyers and go beg for forgiveness. Don't make me repeat myself. It was 300k! You wouldn't happen to know how to bring a fish back to life, right? What are you talking about? Do I look like some kind of marine magician? If I could do that, I'd be running my own sushi store. There are so many fish that I can't sell anymore. The arowana was 300k, but all the other fish included, I think I'm looking at over a million in damages! Hey, 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 Mr. Sean! Hey, m m Mr. Ulysses! You don't have to be that surprised, do you? Yeah, yeah! Do we look like ghosts or something? <laughs> we're here to pick up the fish. Huh? I said, we're here to pick up the fish. You've already imported them, right? Huh? Y yeah! <laughs> uh, of course! Uh, yeah, but, um... I thought tomorrow was the day that we agreed to hand over the fish. Yeah, but... We just couldn't wait, you know? We just got a little excited, you know? True! True. Come on, show us! Show us Mr. Arowana, huh? Seriously, you've just been talking about the Arowana non-stop since, like, last month. Of course I have! It's literally 300k super big fish! My clients were bothering me so much, it's premium! Premium, I tell you! Well, I guess that you've got to take responsibility and hand it over then. 
That's right, Mr. Ulysses. If something happened to the Alawana, it would be a huge trust problem. And we're talking about big damages money, you know. Um, can I ask a question real quick? Oh, ignore that stupid barbarian. <laughs> I actually am curious about fish, you know. Not the eating type of fish. No, no. The watching type of fish. Man, you said that your Alawana is 300k? What kind of fish is it? I would love to get a glance at one. Do you feel? Yeah, yeah definitely, definitely feel. feel. But I like it. You've got jokes, so I'll let you catch a glimpse of the fish. Woo! Yeah! Um, are you gentlemen the owner of an uh, aquarium shop or something? Yep. What kind of relationship do you have with Mr. Sean over here? Well, he's just an importer of sorts for us, and in between. He brings in the fish, and we buy the fish off of him. But I mean, he only ever accepts the money up front, so we're basically in the red till we actually get the fish off his hands. And at this point, we're just waiting for the fish. Huh, that's cool. Just wondering though, it must be some kind of horrible thing if something horrible would have happened to your expensive fishy, huh? <laughs> If something happened to the fish, well, to put it in a good way, Shiny Boy over here would be done for. And Mr. Sean, what a great reaction. It's almost like you actually had some kind of insane accident or something. Great acting. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, tomorrow is the official day of, of the handoff, so... If something would have happened to the fish before it's handed over to our possession, then we are going to make sure we get our money back. Plus 30% extra fees for our troubles. That's our contract. Right, Mr. Sean? Y yeah. <laughs> Come on now. Let me take all those fish off your hands, huh? Man, I just really want to make sure I keep the official date, you know? Why? You've already got all the fish on hand, right? But the delivery date was tomorrow, the contract, so... We're already talking about how we don't care, though. But, but if we hand off today, and something happens today, and the fish gets sick, then... Oh, come on now. Don't be so ominous, buddy. S sorry, but you know, it's not exactly pocket change, so I'm just worried. Then how about we just adjust the contract to change the date to today, huh? Then you shouldn't have any problems. Uh, I don't know. I think it might be a little tough. Why is it tough, though? Today is just not exactly a lucky day, you know? It's not very good. That's not true. I'm pretty sure today is supposed to be my lucky day, according to the star sign fortunes. Are you seriously in first place? Why are you so hesitant to hand over? You you just came over out of the blue, so I'm a little confused. I mean, I've been calling you first thing from the morning, but you just won't answer your phone, so... I... I can't just have you show up out of the blue like this, okay? I already said sorry. But we're all already here, so come on now, be flexible. Yeah, we're going to be working together for a long time from now on. So just let a single day slide, you know? If I let you slide for a day, then I would be able to say no from now on too, so... Then I'll be sure to not do it next time, okay? I don't like verbal agreements, so I think I'm going to stick to the contract down to the T. No, no. I just said I'd make another contract agreeing to the new terms. You don't have a contract ready to go right now though, right? Then should I just bring a contract? Um, are you listening? Hello? I mean, if you prepare a contract... You, you took, took so long, long to answer! answer. And, and you're, you're taking, taking so, so long, long to say something, something so simple. simple? Did your consciousness go to the depths below like the fish? Um, Why are you shutting up? What is wrong with this guy? It's fine, Mr. Ulysses. Neil and I will bring our own contract and come back in a sec. Right. You know, you wouldn't want to hear him nagging about the officialities of the contracts, so you should bring your store's official stamps, too. Ugh, this prick is ruining my tactics to buy time. The thief Sean was now completely cornered. His crimes are just going to continue piling up. There's no way to fight this. All you have is despair. You have no idea how strong my tears have made me. Just watch me return fire! Dude, the sun is literally setting already! Yeah, exactly. Exactly what? Why won't you sign the damn contract? Um... You are going to shut up again? I can't. I keep getting calls at the store. I'm gonna go back to the store for now. Me too. I've gotta go pick up my son. Um... Alright, two more people. 
Why can't you hand over the fish? Because I want to stick to the contract and agreement that we made initially. What is your problem? You were the one that said that if we bought our own contracts... You know, uh, people change sometimes. Dude, what the hell is going on? You okay with tomorrow? Mmm... I can't with this guy, man. This is the last time we ever do business, you understand me? Y yes sir. Fine, let's just come back tomorrow. We can't just force ourselves into his house. Oh well. We're going to be back tomorrow. You will hand over those fish tomorrow. Okay. Phew. There we go. Now I need to... Oh, you two. Hang on. I think that you two should keep your eyes on Sean right now. You, you prick. Shut up, Theo. Worst case scenario? Seriously, Sean screwed up completely in taking care of the fish. And the moment you two disappear, he's going to disappear from his house, too. It's a possibility. Uh, I don't know if that's actually a possibility. I don't think the chances are zero. I don't know how much he's still got left from the 300k, but he might just pack his stuff and disappear after you two leave. No way, that's not. It's a 300k arowana. Why don't we play it safe, huh? Just stay here till tomorrow, and make sure we can't run away into the night. And no matter what happens, you make sure that you don't import using him, okay? Yeah! Why the hell are you the leader? The two shop owners basically stayed in front of his house to keep watch over Sean. Afterwards, Sean continued to say things to try to get them to go away, but it was a very expensive deal. There's no way that they were going to back down. However, the one thing that would be tough about this is that it would definitely take a long time. I guess some things can't be helped. Then it turns out that everything would come to an abrupt end. Uh, hey, Sean! What is it, Grandpa? I'm busy working right now! The fish are weak? What's going on with that? The fish are weak? Uh, wait, hang on. Uh, I'm gonna go take a look. Only I will take a look. That's not going to fly. We're going to look at the fish too. B but the room is kind of a mess right now. We're, We're going, going to, to go, go check. check. What the hell is going on, Sean? Uh, please calm down. There's a good reason for this. Does your good reason make these weekend fish healthy again? Are they going to be healthy enough to sell? All of this is because of that. What? what? It's Theo's fault. Yes, he cut the power line and uh, all of the fish. Hang on just a second. You're saying that he cut the power lines to your house? Yes. Don't you dare lie. You continue to steal my electricity no matter what I said. So I ended up having to cut the power. That's what's really happened. Steal your electricity? L that's not true at all. Okay. Why don't you two come with me real quick? You can see the cord that's extended out to my outdoor outlet from his room. Stop! What is that? Are you some kind of monster disguised as a human? Sounds like you've been through a lot, huh? I had to deal with $300 that just came out of nowhere. But do you finally understand how the reason that the fish are not sell-worthy is because of that man? How the hell would we understand? Why? It's literally his fault and he cut the power. Because, because you, you stole, stole power. power. It's literally $300. Just leaving your wallet and you don't know why? And you made it so he literally couldn't pull the plug out of the outlet. Why, why wouldn't, wouldn't you, you flip, flip the breaker? breaker? This is so bad. All the fish are out of commission. We've got to get him to pay up for this. There's an additional 30% trouble rate, so we're looking at just 390k with the arowana alone. Your life is done for. <laughs> Sean ended up having to take on a debt totaling 1.3 million. He used all of his savings along with his expensive car and all of his luxury goods to pay up about 800k. He still got to take care of 500k. I told him that there was a good financing company called Andrews Finance. He's gonna deal with Andrews little goonies from now on. <laughs> Great job, Theo. Here, have a little incentive. Sean wasn't able to sell fish anymore because no one would trust him. He's gonna have to work hard to the point where he's probably gonna be sweating bullets all day every day. Me? I don't care at all though. Oh, and I called some professionals to take care of the plug so I could have my outlet black. Sean the thief disappeared and peace returned to my life. I'm going to keep living life without bothering others. Andrew, I need some money. 
Trouble Busters!